What is up, everybody? Here with the uh, unboxing slash, I guess, bag, you call it. Um, and as you can tell by the title, you know what it is. Um, I'm going to call it, let's call it a hype beast unboxing today. Um, it's something totally, um, I guess what you could call a hype beast just because there's a huge logo on it. And, um, well, Let's just let's just open it up so you can kind of see what I mean. So let's get it. Always tear away from yourself and do it carefully. You know, you never know. Don't want any accidents to happen, even if they are on camera. So as you, I ordered this from Zoomies, and when I say hype beast, I also mean totally. I guess not necessary to have i mean i don't know it's purely for the logo the design the brand whatever you want to call it so like i said it's from zoomies i'd never ordered from there before it's the first time i ordered from there i don't even know if i ever bought anything from there maybe some vans i'm not sure so they were put it in it comes in a bag i guess shopping bag and then what we have inside, receipt, whatever. Oh, we don't need that. And then, <laughs> oh man, here it is. A champion. Okay, yeah, a champion. We're gonna call it a waste pack. We're not gonna call it the fanny pack. It's a waste pack. And as you can see, it's just got the big champion logo on it. That's why I call it a hype beast. Um, I'm not really a hype beast, I guess you could say. Um, I do buy things like shoes and, and things like that, but as far as like apparel and clothes like that, not not necessarily. So um, on this side, you just got a big clip. Um, you got the champion, of course, the logo there, and then this huge logo that's like a... Um, carpet felt material i guess and then you just got the gray thing and then you open it up it's got a pocket inside and then it just has so you can put your name address if you want which probably won't do and then there's another little pocket in the inside of that so you got your little big pocket and you got your little pocket <clears throat> now Probably people are wondering, for the few people that know me that do follow my channel, they're probably like, why would you get a fanny pack? First of all, in my defense, um, since I live in Florida, it's very, very hot. Now, I I love backpacks as well. I like carrying around backpacks. Um, but sometimes in the summertime, you know, it gets really hot if you're wearing a backpack and it just starts to sweat. And then it's just gross. So um, I've switched it out for these type of bags, a fanny pack. Um, and actually, I think I saw somebody with this one, if I'm not mistaken, that came into Nike. And I was like, that's kind of cool. And I researched it. I saw it on YouTube. There was one other video posted, I think maybe April 5th. Um, and I was like, that's kind of cool. I'm going to keep it. Now, I, I don't I don't wear them around my waist. You know, I kind of just put them across, whatever. But yeah, since I also ordered it because um, we're coming up on my two-year um, anniversary of where I posted um, my first video up on YouTube. And I want to talk a little bit about that. There's a couple things that I want to address or talk about. Um... So, and I thought this was the perfect item because, um, so about two years ago, maybe a little more when I was coming up with ideas and stuff, what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel. Um, as you know, we, if you have a channel or whatever you, or anything you're going to create new or start new, you always, you're always a little nervous and you go, you thinking, you start thinking of ideas and things you want to do and things you want to put into it and I knew I wanted to create a channel and unbox stuff and 
and do that stuff. As far as vlogging, that came to me a little bit later. I didn't think I was going to do that or no, I wanted to do that um, until I just decided just, you know what, let's try to vlog and see what happens. So my first initial thing was to just do unboxings and then later maybe get into vlogging. But as you can tell from my first videos, I went with um, vlogging first. Um, and so when I had this idea of unboxing, I wanted to, the first thing I wanted to unbox, I actually purchased it. Um, not a smart purchase. I probably would purchase an item like this again. I've learned my lesson, you can say. Um, oh yeah, before I talk about that, this was 39, whatever, $39, something like that, and then shipping, whatever, but kind of a, a, a expensive, I would say, but you are just getting, you are paying for the logo. Let's, let's be honest, and it's, it's pretty cool. It's really cool. I don't know, maybe not worth $40, but whatever. Um, so back to my story. So, um, this item that I wanted to get, um, n okay. So if you follow pop culture and, and stuff like that, the media now fanny packs are in with everybody with rappers. It doesn't matter, you know, men, women, they're, it's, they're very in. Um, back then when I ordered this item, th those were not in. They were, none of that stuff was in. It was a European thing. And I used to watch a lot of European soccer. And I used to see these soccer players with their Louis Vuitton bags, the Gucci bags, and stuff like that. And I, I like that style for some reason. And I always wanted to be a soccer player. So, um, you know, I wanted to be like that. <laughs> as odd as that seems or dumb as it seems, you know. Um, so I went ahead and I bought something from, that box is a little messed up now, but I got something from Gucci. Um, it was, uh, maybe at the time, probably $700, which is what I mean that it was a dumb purchase and I've learned my les lesson and let me tell you why I learned my lesson. So yeah, it's a, another fanny pack. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't remember which soccer player. There's probably a lot of them that I saw that had these. And I wanted it. And, okay, let me tell you. I do not regret owning it because, you know, it's pretty cool. Um, it's designer, it's fashion, you know. And that's, that's more of a European thing, maybe. Um, but what I regret is, you know, I should have known better. But... The 700 that you pay, honestly, is really just for the the name brand and the logo that you're getting because I've compared this to, I compared this to like materials of, you know, other brands that aren't as expensive and, and luxurious, you could say. And honestly, they're the exact same thing. So I kind of learned my lesson that I'm never going to spend that much on an item Probably again, um, because now, you know, I got to worry about having it clean, keeping it clean. So, like, do I want to wear it? Do I want to take it out? Um, and it's just an expensive, expensive item to have that, you know, it's just sitting there. And $700 could have gone many different ways. I could have done other stuff with it. And I'm, t I'm trying to learn that towards um, sneakers. Um, that's taking a little bit more time just because, you know, I don't know. It's just, a the mo it's n not something that you think about. You just know, oh, it's going to release, it's going to release. Let's see if I get it and you get it. And then it's kind of after it might hit you. But so it's kind of hard to process If The stuff sat there, you know, and didn't sell. It probably would be a lot easier to walk away from. Um, but since things are so limited now, and I think that's Nike's big scheme and or other brands, I think that's what they have created, you know, this world of you're going to miss out, hurry up, you better grab it. So I've kind of been conditioned 
to um, try that. But I'm getting better. Trust me, I'm getting way much better than that. I'm, that's why you don't see as many unboxings. It's not because I don't want the items or whatever. It's just that I feel like I don't need them. And it's 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 just kind of a waste or it's, it's hard to um, keep up with all that stuff as well. Because, you know... Um, we work hard for our money and we don't want to just give it back, right? I don't think so. So this was one item that I kind of learned the lesson on. And actually, I was talking with some people at work about it. And of course, I was like, oh, you got Gucci, you got Gucci. Yeah, I got Gucci. But, it, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't make me a better person. It doesn't change me. It doesn't, you know, nothing. Everybody, you know, I took this to, to work one time. Um, I took it to work and, you know, people were, they, they loved it and they want to take pictures with it. So I thought that was weird. But like I said, sometimes it is just a status symbol to some people. Some, some things it's just an object, but to me, I don't view those things. I don't view it. Um, I don't view the things like that. I just, when I want something, I just want it. And it's because I wanted it, like I said, so those things, the fanny packs and all that, um, waste packs, they weren't popular back when I got this, but now that it's popular, you know, now I don't want to use it because, well, now everybody has them or whatever. So it's not as interesting to me to have. Um, so back to this. Now you might be, you know, thinking, what, what, what are you going to use it for? Now, I... I'm using them for, what I use them for is to put my wallet, my phone, my keys. And then now that I have, you know, multiple cameras, depending on the camera that I have, you know, I can't fit a camera in there, obviously, but batteries, batteries are important. So I have three batteries per camera, which I own two cameras. So, you know, it keeps, keeps it hands free and things out of my way. And I just kind of put them in and let's go. So that's the only reason why. Otherwise, you know, I would never probably back in, I don't know, when it was popular in the 80s. So, you know, other than Hulk Hogan, I don't know who else wore a fanny pack. Oh, there's a picture of The Rock as well. Um, but yeah, so um, other than that, I, w I don't know who really used fanny packs. So, But they're in now, and I don't know how long they'll be in, so I might as well jump on the bandwagon one last time and be a quote unquote hype beast for a little bit longer so that's my video that's my story hopefully i didn't bore you um but remember next time you want an expensive expensive item that's okay work for it um if it's something that you really want or you really like i'm not anybody to tell you not to get it uh but i'm just wanted to let you know that you know there's other options because look at 700 um, $40 and you could find even, you know, cheaper than that and use that and it'd be perfectly fine. So like I said, if you have the money and you don't care or it's something that you really, your heart really desires, then go after it. Sometimes we can settle for, you know, something modified version of a thing and be perfectly fine and perfectly okay and not care what anybody says. So that's my video. Like, comment, subscribe, um, and yeah, hopefully more videos, more frequent. If you noticed, I've been uploading a little bit more um, this week uh, and just hoping to continue doing that. Have a good one, y'all. Peace.